can buy these at that popular chocolate sweet treat store or you can make them in your own kitchen. The secret is in the layers. George Ann Bell says these gourmet pretzel rods make a great Valentine's Day handout. I agree, just looking at them, <laughs> haven't tasted them yet, but we know anything she brings to our kitchen is amazing. What's the reaction? when you pass these out? Usually people are surprised because they're expecting just chocolate on top of pretzels. Uh -huh. Oh, but no. Yes, we have a secret ingredient today. <laughs> we are layering. Should we start with that secret ingredient? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so I use caramel for that, like you said. It tastes like a candy bar and it's a big surprise for everyone. It's what makes it truly gourmet and fantastic. It's that hidden little ingredient yes. underneath. It's a little bit chewy with all the crunch. Palette. Yes. Yes. Do not make these without caramel. Okay, you've been warned. But the yes. best part is that you can get um, the caramel bits from the grocery store. How They're do these work out? Just fine, actually. Okay. Yeah, they melt. If if you have some that are like maybe a little like older, you can um, add in some evaporated milk to make it a little more thin. Here, I'll show you. You want it to. You want to be able to stir it. Okay. It can be. This is as thin as you want it, and then as it cools down, it's going to get a little bit thicker still. Uh -huh. So you can use these caramel bits. They're right next to the chocolate chips at the grocery store. Or my absolute favorite. There it comes. I know. I really. I just make. I really. I just make these. So that I can buy more caramel. The king of caramel. I love, yeah, Peter's caramel. Um, you can buy all of this stuff at Orson Gigi, uh -huh. one-stop shopping, or at your grocery store. Nice. So whatever's convenient, nice. right? Okay, now, is there a technique to the dipping to make sure we're getting the appropriate coating, like the thickness I will we want? show you how, th lots of people do it different ways. I use um, chopsticks to stir these up, but you could also just use a knife. Okay. Whatever you have around. So I'm gonna put my pretzel in. You wanna make sure you're not really stirring it with the pretzel because it'll kind of break off right here where you have your hand. Okay. So I'm gonna roll it around a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll put it on its side uh -huh. to get it up to the edge and then kind of twist it. That's a substantial layer you're going for there. I mean, we are Ooh. coating, right? We're not kidding around about this caramel. <laughs> we are not messing so around. So I'm gonna twist it a little bit here at the edge and then as I bring it up, I'm gonna continue twisting it. Okay. And it kind of has this... Swirl effect. Yeah, and then as it settles, it, it'll smooth out though. So I'm gonna put it on parchment paper okay. or like a, a baking sheet would work as well. Uh -huh. So kind of tilt that sideways yep. so that you can get, you can also um, put the melted caramel in a drinking glass, oh. a tall glass drinking glass if you wanna go all the way. I like my pretzels to have a little bit of a handle to them, yes. but some people like to go all the way with it. So, but if you wanted a deeper yeah. dunk, then. Yeah, see, look at you. You're How am I doing? Already. How am I doing? You can, if you're worried about the twisting part, you can also use a knife or a chopstick to kind of scrape that caramel off mm -hmm. as you bring it out. Okay. And then you want to let it sit for about, with the Peter's caramel, I let it sit for about 20 minutes is all, and then okay. it's set up and you can move on to the I next step. I thought you were going to say overnight, and I was like, don't do that to us. Don't <laughs> so do that to us. So for two weeks, you're yeah. going to have to let the, <laughs> <laughs> and then once the, the caramel is set up, we do the same thing with the chocolate. Okay. We um, pull it sideways and then just twist it around like that. And are you a chocolate snob? Do you prefer a different, a certain I brand? I was actually going to say, this is just like the cheap melting chocolate. You, if you get good caramel, I mean, if we're going to put sprinkles and stuff on top, you're not really going to taste like the amazing chocolate. So you don't want to um, save like the good chocolate for when you're going to taste it. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm sure that it's highly controversial. <laughs> You've got people throwing your chocolates <laughs> at the TV as we speak. That's it. No, no more. <laughs> but I get it. We're covering this up. This is way too thick, yeah. isn't it? Did no, I go too thick? No, it's totally fine. You really? like chocolate? There you go. Is there such a thing as too much chocolate? Right, you I could do a couple not. layers in. Okay. So then once I have the chocolate on, I'm going to put it in the drinking glass and mm -hmm. I'm going to put this sideways and then again, just kind of roll it around in there. <gasps> And we get our fun sprinkles. Look at this. Just fun for like the kids that. to help out with too. This is actually yes. a kitchen craft meets. Yes, recipe if, if you don't mind, you know, chocolate all over your glass in the end. But well, you know. But yeah, they're happy to help make it. They're happy to eat it. Mine's a little globby. Look at the professionals, <laughs> not at mine. But no one's gonna complain once they eat it. That's all. That I'm is saying. so true. That okay. is so true. Sprinkles just one way to dress it up. Yes, yes. You can use sprinkles. You can use. I mix these sprinkles. You can use all one color sprinkles or Jimmy's, whatever you want. Another fun way is to drip more chocolate on top because mm -hmm. what we need with chocolate is. You know, what goes better with chocolate than more chocolate? More is more, absolutely. So these are uh, melting wafers. You can get them, again, at the grocery store. You can get them in the craft aisle, like the cake aisle. Um, do, I like to do different colors. You're just going to melt these in a little bowl and mm -hmm. then just drizzle it across. It's best if you have a line of these and you can just go all the way across. Right. You want to try it? I do. I absolutely do. And packaging them up is the last step and you've done that simply but in a cute yep. way at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I find it, it, I like the presentation of two pretzels in one bag at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but you can certainly do, you know, one at a time as well. And then if you add a little bit of colored washi tape or a string, then it's the full presentation right there. 
your neighbors, you your give these for Valentine's. Yeah, whoever you hand these out to, they're <laughs> going to think you are the star baker. Right, and look how long that took us. I mean, almost no, no time. No time at all. Our secret, our back pocket secret is Georgian Bell. Look how cute. Oh. I like the monochromatic sprinkles too. You mentioned that. I like yes. that look. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> you can do like double together. On display, packaged up, the perfect Valentine. Thanks so much for teaching us. This Thanks was so, so fun. Become. And you have more tutorials, more recipes like this yep. on your website. Yep. Lilaloa.com. www.lilaloa. We'll link you over from our website Thanks. too. Thank you, George. And happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, you Super too. Fun.